Improv Tipters, welcome back to Improv Tips, where I and some of the best improvisers in the world give you improv tips and advice to make you a better, more confident, and happier improviser wherever you are in your improv journey. I am, as always, your host, Paul Valancourt. Let's begin. Our fantastic guest tip today is Juan Velasco. Now, I've known Juan for a while, and I've always found his work to be delightful, so I'm thrilled that he's giving a tip today. Um, he was involved in a show that I loved called Geraldo, which is a group that did a uh, herald and did improv all in Spanish. Now, as a non-Spanish speaker, I was not sure initially <laughs> if I'd be able to make heads or tails of the show, but I will tell you, I absolutely loved it. The intentions, the emotions, the the what was going on between the characters was, and I knew like just enough Spanish to get it. I, it was one of my favorite shows I booked it at my theater several times and each time that show and one in particular were standouts of the night one is a performer teacher and content maker and all those links are down below and while you're clicking around links if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the subscribe link see what I did there and clicking that bell so you get notified whenever new improv tips come out and if you could leave us a comment down below let me know what you think about this tip and uh, what you think about the channel and what you're thinking about in improv that's what I really love to know about Juan's tip today addresses the idea of finding your own voice in improv. Anyone who's done improv for even a little while usually bumps up against this question. So I'm really excited that Juan is here to delve deeper into it. I did this tip ding, ding, a while ago about finding voice. And I think Juan really adds to the conversation in a really great, interesting way that's going to really help you out. So without any further ado, please sit back, relax, and enjoy Juan Velasco. Hi, my name is Juan Velasco. I am from Quito, Ecuador, uh, but now I live in Orange County, California. I'm an improviser, teacher, and coach. And first, I want to say thank you to Paul to invite me to be part of these improv tips. I was thinking what I can share with another improviser, and I realized uh, if I can give you an advice, uh, find your voice. That's really important to find your own voice. Uh, that means for me that I'm coming from another country. English is not my first language. And when I start doing improv, maybe I was a little afraid to like, you know, uh, they don't gonna understand what I try to say. Uh, maybe they don't gonna understand my humor. And I have all these barriers in front of me and really stopped me a lot to be present, to, be, to listen to the scenes. Because I was afraid to, people don't gonna understand what I try to say. But when in the moment that I realized that diversity is really important, not just in improv in general, but for improv, bring your point of view, bring your diversity to scenes are really important because we don't wanna see the same scene over and over. We're gonna see different point of views. We're gonna see different opinions. We're gonna see different humor. That's gonna make your scenes more fun to watch. And they are gonna make the audience connect with you because humor comes from an honest place. People want to see their, their selves in, on scenes. They're going to say, oh, that happened to me. I understand what he tried to say. Oh, they're human. They're like the situation. I can understand with that situation. So the humor is going to, you're going to connect with the audience. So if, you're, if you start doing improv and you're not from here and you have accent and English is not your first language or your humor, you you have a different sense of humor to other people. Don't be afraid of that. If you really focus on accept each other, love each other, trust me, trust me, that is gonna be really fun to play with you. And for the other improviser there, connect, accept, love each other. Don't fight in scenes. Don't be uh, afraid to say your point of view, not because you think or you think different from other people, and maybe you don't understand other people, that means that you have to fight on scenes. Discover those differences together. Diversity, find your voice, is really, really important. Uh, thank you so much. I hope everybody is great, and I'll see you soon. Hey friends, thanks for checking out the video. And uh, if you wanna hear a little bit more, check out one of these two quality videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links are in the description down below. And let me know what you would like to see an improv tip about. Thanks for watching.